uh, in this video in the, um, <laughs> In this video, I will be showing you how you can whiten the teeth and the eyes in Photoshop. This method is very simple and easy and it is among one of the methods that are fast to use. I will just be showing you one method which is my best and recommended method which is the camera raw filter. And I have already done a camera raw filter already in this video so I will just have to double click on it and get into it. But if you want to know all the steps I went through before I got to this point, you are free to watch this video up there speaking about photo editing from the beginning to the end or you can just watch the chapters separately like this one that speaks about dodge and bone so but if you've done that already or if you already know that let us keep going but if you don't and you're still here obviously you want me to keep going so here we are i will double click on this camera raw to get into camera raw but if you don't have this already you can go back to filters and you will see camera raw filter over there and the shortcut key is Control shift a but since i already have mine and i want to keep on working on that same camera raw filter i don't need to go and start creating another camera raw filter from that aspect so i just have to get into here where i can still adjust every other color grading i've done for this picture this is the picture before and this is the picture when i'm done with the color grading so what remains is the eyes and the teeth it's not as white as it should be so i'll be doing that over here i will click on the mask button and in this mask i can choose the subject sky or whatever but this is not what i want to do here the kind of mask i want to create will have a whitish tint to it and that whitish tint is what will make the whiteness of the teeth basically make the teeth and the eyes white so i'll click on brush and I already have a preset here but let's say i don't have any presets i can say new adjustment preset this is where we start if you don't have a preset this is how it's going to look like ignore the brush size and all that just come down here you have your exposure it's normally at zero you take it up and contrast to reduce it so that you don't have so much difference between the whites and the black does that make sense i turn down the highlights because i always like turning down the highlights shadows should go down as well because you are dealing with making things white so we don't need shadows the white is low and ironically the black is at 18 so just look at these settings i use here and replicate it in your own but the most important aspect of everything in this is the temperature and the saturation no matter what you do here it doesn't really matter so much you can find a fine tune to your own setting but it doesn't matter so much what you do here where matters is your temperature and saturation don't touch the hue and the tint so my temperature i take it all the way down to around minus 85 which will make it so bluish and i reduce the saturation to minus 100 which means no color at all i do not touch the curves i don't touch any other effect and so on and so forth and moya reduction is minus 58 so that is that and i can start now to paint remember that if you are painting and you have a lot of spillovers you can reduce the feather in your brush and where do you do that like i said this area that you should ignore my feather is all the way up to 100 i can reduce it to make the painting more to have more borders but i don't like doing that because it makes it obvious that there is a white brush going through the state. So you just paint through. If your brush is maximum, if your brush, brush is large, you can reduce the size over here or you can use the scroll wheel of your mouse. Once you scroll down, the brush will go down. If you scroll up, the brush gets bigger. Isn't that fun? Okay, stop doing it. Just concentrate concentrate so here we are and if you brush in a place where you shouldn't brush hold the alt key down it's going to change the brush to a minus when you leave it it's going to change it back to a plus so hold the alt key down and 
clean that area you don't want the brush to show once you take your hand off from the off alt key you brush and it paints the white now as you can see this is white really white and i feel this is too much of course it's going to be too much here is where you control that you change the amount if you take it higher it gets even whiter as you can see in this image so you take it down as usual everything down to zero and then you gradually bring it up to where it naturally becomes good and i think this is my sweet spot for this image so this is it i click on ok and in general the color grading of this image which included correcting the color of the eyes and the teeth is this this is the before and this is the after if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and comment also if you have not subscribed subscribe to the channel turn on the notification by clicking on the bell icon and turning on the notification by clicking on all so i don't miss any of my new videos coming up very soon if you would like to know how to do dodge and burn or frequency separation or full editing of an image this video coming up now will show you everything till next time another episode of you know. Goodbye.